Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make these fun, easy pumpkin cupcakes for Halloween. Ooh. You need some shop-bought cupcakes and one quantity of vanilla frosting. I like to use um, Lola's Cupcakes vanilla frosting. It's quite a good recipe. I think it's 150 grams of butter and 350 to 400 grams of icing sugar with a bit of vanilla paste in it. That makes a really nice consistency buttercream. Um, and then you also want orange um, food colouring and brown food colouring, or you can just make some chocolate buttercream, either's fine. Um, you want a cocktail stick to make the little indents on the pumpkin, pumpkin rather. You want some large pretzels to make the kind of stalks. So you want them kind of like that to make the stalks in the middle of the pumpkins. Um, an ice cream scooper or just like a round kind of spoon to make a spherical shape pumpkin um, and some chocolate some grated chocolate whichever is your favorite chocolate that's to make like a base that looks like kind of soil okay so you've got your ready-made and um, cupcakes from the shop these are just a pound you can make if you're not doing this with children or you want something a bit more adult you can there's a hummingbird bakery recipe for pumpkin cupcakes and they're really nice they're all they've got like um cinnamon and pureed pumpkin in them and they just taste delicious um but if you're doing with the kids and you haven't got a lot of time then this is the one for you get the shop bought ones for a pound um so you want to just slice the tops off um just gently just so you've got a flat surface to work with um, and then you're going to put some of the chocolate buttercream on the top so it's just going to spread it on doesn't have to be too neat and then you get some of your grated chocolate whatever you whatever chocolate you like um, and you're just going to sprinkle it on the top so as to kind of look like soil as it were for the little pumpkin to sit on so you just cover them in chocolate, grated chocolate, so they look like little lovely soil webs. You've got your orange buttercream, so this is just your vanilla frosting, and you've just mixed in your um, orange colouring. You can get this from anywhere, you can get it from um, Amazon or Hobbycraft or anywhere really. So then what you're going to do is just scoop some of the mixed orange mixture up into your ice cream scoop and just pop it on to each cake just like that so then they kind of look like that and you want them to harden up a little bit so put them pop them on a um receptacle and <laughs> put them in the fridge for maybe five to ten minutes but no more than that because you don't want them to be too hard but you want to be able to kind of handle them and manipulate them into a shape. Okay, so get them out of the fridge when they're kind of semi-set. Um, and we're aiming for this kind of effect here. So, to get that effect, um, you get your cocktail stick um, and you wanna just clean it each time you do it because otherwise, because then you get a clean line in the um, cupcake. So just hold it like that and just press it there actually do it with the other end and then just kind of fold it over to the top so just keep doing that as you go round so that, like wipe it with a bit of kitchen towel roll each time so just go like that to the middle and just wipe your cocktail stick Space them out equidistant, as it were. And if they're a little bit difficult to work with because it's a bit gloopy, they might need a bit more time in the fridge, probably. Which this one is, so I'm actually going to put these back in the fridge just now. I'll just finish this one. You can kind of wipe it up 
and you kind of go over the line as well so you can go into the middle like that but then you can kind of like wipe up to make the line more defined you can just get that and just pop the pretzel in there and that gives it a proper pumpkin look so another nice thing to do is to before you put the orange um before you put the ice cream scoop of orange icing onto the cake is to put a little mini oreo or a normal sized oreo there and just cover it up um and then it's like a little surprise when they eat it when the kids eat it or whoever or you eat it won't be a surprise to you if you put it in but whatever um and also so you know you get the shop bought ones and they're in like the little white cases but you can just buy some like black halloweeny colored um cupcake cases and just pop them in those um once they're finished so it gives them a little finishing effect or maybe even like black and purple or something some halloweeny type colors and that is the finished product the last thing to do you don't have to do this but it is halloween and what is halloween without a bit of glitter and gold i mean i think that might be christmas but just go with it it's festive so just give it a little spray and then it gives it oh that's <laughs> smoky gives it a bit of glitz and glamour we could all do with some more glitz and glamour in our lives and a little less brexit so i hope you enjoyed my video on how to make some pumpkin halloween cupcakes there's loads more on my channel so do subscribe there's lots of easy bakes and more complicated sugar craft bits for whatever takes your fancy and i'll see you soon bye